Hello, welcome back to Shadow of the Colossus. In the last part, we killed the fifth Colossus, and today we're going to kill the next Colossus. Yes, that's it's a violent game, but we play. There are 16 Colossus in total, and uh, so we're a little bit over a third way through the playthrough. Anyway, let's watch. Just messing around with the camera. Those are very helpful clues. Well, there we go. You know the drill. Get the horse, point the sword in the sun, find the way, and head out. But first, before we do that, there are uh, more doves over here. Let's see if we can shoot one down. I swear this game is, uh, no animals were harmed in the making of this game. In this video, though, maybe not. This game kind of gets pretty lonely after a while. There's nobody here other than the girl on the little table thing. And uh, all the wander has is the horse. And there's really nothing going on in this game. At all. Other than the Colossus. Which are pretty uh, big, if you don't mind the pun. Um, events, but there's still really not much you could do. However, with your horse, you can uh, do those horse horseback riding tricks. Um, I don't know if I've shown the other one, but you can stand up and uh, just a nice way to pass the time, master the horse riding tricks. Um, and then something else that's pretty cool, but I'll, I'll show you that in a moment. You can actually fly. You can fly in this game. But like I said, we'll get to that. For now, we're trying to find the uh, next Colossus, and um, this this one finding this one is actually pretty straightforward if you just follow a sword. But for me, I always end up having this little issue where I can't. There's a tunnel up ahead, and I can't see it because I just think it's part of the shading getting messed up. We'll get there in a sec. Right up here, there is a, a little save shrine, and uh, you know that means. It's lizard hunting time. The lizard that likes to hover around this shrine here um, actually doesn't stay next to the shrine. Um, it actually kind of walks around. If I say um one more time in this video, I'm a I'm a not have to not say it. Yes, that is my reason. Anyway, lizard over here should be a pretty easy target. There we go. I hit it. You saw that. I did not hit it that time. Anyway. There we go. Why don't we keep shooting it? <laughs> so, we're just gonna go over here and save at the shrine real quick. And then we'll be on our way. Un momento, por favor. My Spanish accent is uh, on point, isn't it? Anyway. I should stop I saying that. Anyway. Anyway, let's continue on. Uh, yeah, we got some errors here. Getting on the horse is kind of tricky. You have to be like right at her side. Aggro. Um, in the new version, they did fix that. There's a version of this game that just came out on PS4. Yeah. Not just came out. Came out February 2018, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah. It looks pretty yeah. good. But this here is always what I get confused yeah. about. So you can climb down here. You can climb down here. There's some moss. 
Um, or you could just jump like I do. I said it. I said. I said. Um. But I digress. You can just hop the. <laughs> now I'm stealing catchphrases from my other favorite YouTubers. This is this is not very good. I'm losing my originality. I'm gonna have to jump. Oop. Good thing fall damage isn't a thing. It only took off. Um. I don't know what is that. A fifth. A third. Not quite a third of my health bar. And uh. Um. Set it again. Aggro will just come down here, but I never can find the path to come down here, so I just end up jumping off. Um, there, there, I said it again. I'll have to have a counter on here. I'm gonna do that for my next video. So I'm gonna speed it up here because I can't seem to find the way. And, uh, I said it again. I got a problem. I got a problem. Anyway, I'll be right back once I find the tunnel. Even though it's it's right there the whole time. I'm starting to think maybe I should have all my YouTube videos at that speed. Be much, uh... I said it again. Man, I should have- I should definitely have a counter. Starting from now, I'm gonna have a counter for every time I say the word that starts with a U and ends with an M. Anyway. Um... Oh, there we go. There we go. My first instance of the counter. Yeah, I should have all my videos at that speed, like I was saying. But I found the tunnel, and we just gotta go through here. And then we'll find the next Colossus. So yeah, yeah. let's do that. Yeah. 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 There's a nice little change of scene here. Most of the other areas, they... Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. there you go. Counter two. But they, most of the other areas are like greenish and other colors, and this one's just kind of bright and all the glare and the sand desert colors um, th th yeah. that's three times now yeah. this is getting yeah. very distracting but this very area is pretty unique um, yeah. there's the pop in there and yeah. there's yeah. Um, again I should really refrain from saying that now that I see how many times I'm saying it per episode but I digress there you go stealing that again from Clement J64 I'm sorry but he's my favorite youtuber the mountains popped in, and we got a lizard here. Climb. Right in front of me. The aggro stomped on top of the lizard. That's pretty nice. Thank you, aggro. <laughs> Up here, after we do the little save shrine thing, there's one of the coolest things ever in this game. And I, and I just told you about it a few minutes ago. You can fly <laughs> in this game. But after we save, I'll show you that. And uh, I'll find a bird and hopefully be able to grab onto it and fly. So we're gonna go over here to the edge of the hill. Perfect spot for uh, flying to take place. We're pretty high up. And you can see all these birds over here. I believe they're falcons. They may be eagles. They may be hawks. I don't know my birds very well. Even though they are my favorite what kind of animals. Uh, um, there we go. It's right again. But if we just wait here long enough, a bird is bound to fly by, and we could jump up and grab it, and then we could fly around. This game is full of all kinds of animal cruelty. Not just for giant colossus, but for birds, too. All-inclusive, you know? That one just flew by. That one just flew by. Yeah, you have to be kind of patient for this to work. Here we are, and there we go. We've managed to uh, 
crap onto a bird, and we are now flying. You know, for a game about a dude that kills giants to bring back um, his girlfriend, I guess. Th this is a pretty crazy concept here. Grabbing onto a bird and letting it fly you around. I don't know. Just a nifty little easter egg. Eventually though, we are gonna run out of stamina and we're gonna fall to the ground. But like I said earlier, really fall damage doesn't exist in this game. You fall and then you, uh... <laughs> Falling isn't very realistic in this game. He should have snapped his neck, but, you know, he just lost half his health. Let's skip forward a bit. Just wanted to save some time, because aggro takes a long time to get down that hill. Here we are at the temple. Just that little boost there, and then we're going to go down here. Aggro can't come into the temple, and there's some obstacles in the main hallway entrance. So, unfortunately, Aggro will have to stay outside. Like a lot of the rest of the times. There we go again. Fall damage doesn't exist. Whee. You know, for being a platforming game, this uh, these boxes are pretty creative. Also, so the uh doesn't count for the um counter. Just uh, the actual word um. I really need to stop with saying that uh that cursed word. Anyway, we've made it. We've made it to the uh, what was that voice, man? Oh well. I should stop saying anyway too. And oh well. It's things that just uh kind of make the previous thing I was saying disappear. Anyway, here we are at the boss. It's a pretty big arena. Temple? I don't know where it is, really. But we gotta go down here. Falling will be fine, because, uh, you know what I said about fall damage. And you know what I said about saying, uh. I didn't say, um. So clearly the Colossus did not see us, so I gave it a little whistle, and um, then he goes and turns around and sees I'm right here, so yeah, we're gonna have to keep running. We're intruding on his territory now. It's a pretty rude thing to be doing. Anyway, for this Colossus, anyway, anyway, I should have an anyway counter too, where I spend all my time putting counters and stuff in my videos, make them better, but also take way longer to edit. Anyway, um, we- oh, I said it again. Well, as I was demonstrating that I don't know how to speak, I was demonstrating how to uh, defeat this Colossus. You gotta lead it through these barrier things, and um, get to the other side. Isn't this fun? You know what, this is actually a really good microphone. I shouldn't be, uh, abusing it with such terrible words. Let's- let's get some actual- actual vocabulary in here. Okay, I pulled up the Thothorth, the Thothorth, and I'm gonna tell you how to beat this Colossus. Do you think the Thothorth? Here, here- here it is. <clears throat> so you must obscure yourself abaft of this stanchion. This will lower the Colossi to your station and will make them bow down, allowing you to begin the scaling of the beast. That was very difficult for me to say, um, even with the Thothorth. But I just did all those, and as you can see there, I missed the timing on the jump there, so I couldn't grab onto the beard of the Colossus. So we'll have to try again. Alright, so we've made it onto the beard, and uh, 
Now we can get that nice music transition. So we're gonna scale the Colossus, and uh, this one, Barbara, has two different weaknesses. One on the head, and one over on the back, somewhere. First we're gonna go for the back, or at least try to. This Colossus, even though it's probably the, one of the easier ones to actually figure out how to get on top of, it is a lot harder to kill this one because it likes to shake around a lot more than the other ones. So we're gonna go ahead, head on over to the spine. It's a strange looking spine. I'm gonna poke out over the back. And try to get to one of these weak points. And try to start stabbing it. While playing this game, it's pretty frustrating when you're just trying to climb around and then water, 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 wander starts getting thrown around like that. But you know, watching it, it's pretty funny. I, I guess it's not really. The character must be in immense pain. He's getting thrown around on these giant creatures' backs of stone. But whatever. The Colossi must be in much more pain as they're stabbing, you know, causing causing a fountain of blood. Or I'm sorry, it's not blood. It's it's essence, mist. I, I don't know what that is. Um, as a fountain of that stuff is getting spur out of them. Anyway, we're running low on stamina and we're probably about to get. off, I guess. I'm not sure what that sound was. I just found it somewhere on my computer. So I just put it there and it was, it was perfect. But yeah, we're gonna try this one more time and hopefully it works. Shoot this dude in the crotch. He doesn't seem to mind. He's got that steel armor. But he is starting to kneel down. So, uh, Maybe a moderate amount of pain there. Anyway, let's continue on. Hopefully actually uh, kill him this time. Or else I'm gonna find that sound again. Play it again. So, let's go down here. I'm already off to a better start. Almost fell off the edge there and died, but, you know. We got this. Or not, you know. We keep getting swung around like that. Okay, I'm really sorry that you had to hear that sound twice, but I found it on my computer and it's just the best sound of file I've ever heard and I had to play it twice. So I'm sorry. Anyway. I didn't know that these sigils, the weakness things, they only show up when you have the sword equipped. So yeah, I did totally miss the one on the back, and I wasn't really thinking about it, so I just went up straight to the head. But it'll be fine, we'll stab the head, and then we'll go to the back. Eh. I'm, I'm in a quiet room right now, and hearing my voice reverberate, it's, it's really weird. I'm just detailing how to kill a giant beast. This is what I'm doing with my life right now. Alright, well we got the nice lock on going, and we'll get the head down in a few seconds. Probably one more hit should do it. There we go. Now to the back. Really, uh, Barbara here really shouldn't be shaking their head that much after a stabbed most of their head fluids out of their face. Also, whose blood is pumping that much? Like, um, say it again. Anyway, I'm not really sure how, how to get a fountain of blood to spew out of something's body. Like, do you have to have like an artery there? Do you have an artery everywhere around your body? I'm not quite sure. So that's why I think it's not blood. It's indeed essence, you know? This is, that's why this is a a good child a child game. A T for teen, not an M for mature. And that, that, 
Yeah, it might have been blood. Yeah, yeah, that might have might have definitely been blood because because he dead now. He definitely dead. Actually, you know, in my defense, um, the lack of essence can also kill a person. You know what else can kill a person? Just, uh, clipping through the Colossus and the floor. Neat stuff. Wow. That guy in the middle is really short. And the statue exploded just because I made that dumb joke. I'm sorry I made a short joke, I just- I have to entertain myself. This, uh... This game... is pretty lonely. You know? You know what else is pretty lonely? Sitting in a room with a microphone and a computer. Just talking to a microphone. That's pretty lonely. I don't like this next Colossus. Just cause... Well, I don't like it. I don't need a reason. It's just my least favorite Colossus in the entire game. Well, I'll tell you why later. There's Mono. We didn't really get a good look at her for the rest of the game. It's not like she's the only other human character so far. Okay, Aggro. Let's get out of here. Uh, if I could manage to jump... There you go. Alright. Let's go. Off to a slow start. I see the uh, new audience member are getting bored already. Alright, let's let's make a, something something entertaining for this ride. This is gonna be a long ride, because uh Well, just look at that. Aggro, you're going so slow. <laughs> Alright. Let's go. Absolutely fantastic gameplay. <laughs> Very, um... What's the word? Emergent? No. Um, immersive? I believe immersive is the word. I feel like I'm actually talking to a horse right now. Even though I'm looking at my computer screen talking to a microphone. Yeah, yeah. You could argue that I'm talking to you because you're listening yeah, to me speak to yeah. you. But am I really? Or are yeah. you just hearing me talking to my microphone? I don't know. Just something to think about. Oh, okay. We almost died there. Just kidding. Aggro not done. Yeah. Aggro actually smart and the horse won't jump off cliffs yeah. randomly. But here we go. The start of my frustrations with aggro happens every time I go to see this, uh, what was it, seventh boss? Aggro. So yeah, let's go. Aggro, you might say. Because without the R in aggro, you spell go. And that's what we're doing. We're aggoing. Yeah. Ha ha ha. Yeah. yeah. You don't ever want to go on a long travel journey with me. Travel journey. I'm gonna have to look into Thor Thorith for that one. Do do do. Yeah. You know what? Forget about this. I'm gonna speed this clip up a little bit. Yeah. 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 Maybe I'll put on some... What is this? Electric and dance music. From the YouTube library. 
It's it's free music I can use in my videos without getting copyright strikes. But who cares? I don't even monetize my videos. I don't need money for this. Oh well. I hope you enjoy this dance and electronic music. What, what is it even called? It's, it's called Mr. T. It's by Ra Ronda Brothers. Yes, enjoy. I think you get the point. Finding this Colossus is pretty difficult for me. Okay, I, I don't know how to find it. And, uh, well, Aggro is my favorite video game horse. And my, my only one in this game. I, it's very frustrating. Colossus isn't even this way. Aggro, you dumb horse. You know, I probably shouldn't blame the horse. You know, it did lead me to this cool area over here. I mean, the developers for this game built this whole map, and there's really nothing in it other than trees, and mountains, and grass, and hills, and some structures from an ancient society, presumably. But whatever. At least we found this shrine. So, let's get to the top of the shrine. And maybe I'll consider ending the episode here. But first, you know what time it is. We come to a shrine, it's lizard time. Let's go. Well, that was pretty cool. The lizard just, uh, gave me his tail and ran off. Why can't all the lizards do that? Um, but yeah. I'm gonna end this episode here. It's taken me quite a while to, you know, edit and stuff. And, assuming you've watched it all the way through, it's taken you almost 30 minutes of your life force directed to me. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, I, give it a like? I, I don't know. It appeared as if you'd already done that. But I guess you haven't done it in any way that matters to the YouTube.com. I really don't know what I'm saying. Editing these videos is kind of tiring sometimes. But I'm proud of this video. It's probably one of the better ones I've made. Ever. So yeah. We're gonna go to the top of the shrine, and hopefully we find that Colossus. See you in the next part. Peace, and sheep. <laughs>